Coming into this NBA season, the Minnesota Timberwolves were expected to be a team that's not necessarily a playoff team, but they were expected to be better than they were in prior seasons, with their additions of D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley, and the number one pick in Anthony Edwards. But to start this season, the Wolves were absolutely terrible. So terrible in fact that the Houston Rockets won on a 20 plus game losing streak and they still had a better record than the Timberwolves. But as of late, they have been playing significantly better. And that has led me to make this video where I will be giving you some reasons to why I think the Minnesota Timberwolves might surprise us all next season. Before we get into the video, I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel about weekly NBA content and to reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers and comment on this video start a conversation with me as I do respond to all of my comments and play that intro. The first reason I believe the Timberwolves will surprise everyone next season is the fact that the Timberwolves have been impacted by injuries just as much as any other team in the league. And they're probably at the top of the list for teams that have been really impacted by injuries, as their best player in Carl Anthony Towns has missed 22 games this season, which would obviously impact them drastically since he's a top 20 player in the league. Malik Beasley has missed 26 games this season, and he's a 20 points per game scorer before he got injured so he obviously was definitely missed by this team and their second best player in D'Angelo Russell has missed 30 games this season and I believe him and Carl Anthony Towns have played less than 20 games together this season which is pretty bad I don't know how a team can be successful if their two best players rarely play alongside each other so the Timberwolves this year have asked to play have had to play a lot of this season without three of their four best players. And I don't know how you could expect this team to be good when they're missing that much players from their rotation. And those players are just huge parts of whatever they would like to do. I think if next season, Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell, and Malik Beasley, and basically just the whole team, if they could stay healthy, then they could potentially not necessarily be a playoff team, but they could definitely make the playoff tournament. And from there, we don't know what could happen. And if we're being honest, the main reason the Timberwolves are this bad this season is because of injuries. The second reason I believe the Minnesota Timberwolves will surprise everyone next season is the fact that as of late, the Timberwolves have been healthy and they have been playing at a decent level. They haven't been playing like one of the best teams in the league or anything like that, but they have been playing like a not trash team, which is what they were for most of the season. As in all the games since D'Angelo Russell has returned, which has been 13 games, the Timberwolves have had a record of 7-6, and six, which is five, far from the elite of the elite, but it's still a record that would help them make the postseason. And if they have been healthy, I believe that this season, they could have been potentially in the mix to make the play on tournament. You also have to take in the fact that this is a team that hasn't played much games healthy together. So their chemistry isn't even at 100% and they're already playing decently. So I think next season with better chemistry, they could be a real threat and they just have to stay healthy. A healthy Minnesota team might be better than teams like the Sacramento Kings, New Orleans Pelicans, Memphis Grizzlies, and a few others. I'm not 100% like sure in that take, but it definitely is a possibility because we have seen very little of this team on the healthy side. And the fact that they haven't been healthy all season is a big reason to why I don't think they should trade Carl Anthony Towns just yet. And I don't think he should request a trade just yet either. Although Minnesota gets a lot of flack for how they build around their star players, which is definitely deserved by the way, they haven't done a terrible job as of late because getting D'Angelo Russell Russell and Malik Beasley can really help them out in the future as well as drafting Anthony Edwards. I will admit, if the Wolves suck next season, regardless if they have injuries or not, they should look into trading Carl Anthony Towns or he should look into ask for a trade. Because at a certain point, you can't waste this much of a 
player like Towns level and he will soon be entering his prime so you can't just be keeping him on this trash sorry team because in my opinion if Carl was on a team that was winning I think he might be considered on the level of players like Joel Embiid and Nikola Jokic maybe not better than them but he would be considered on their level and some people would actually argue that Towns is better than them but in Minnesota he only made the postseason one time with Jimmy Butler and in the series in the playoffs he got embarrassed but if you could get traded or if he could go to a different team or just maybe make the playoffs with the Timberwolves I swear it will elevate his legacy very much more I hope the Wolves stay healthy next season so they get a fair chance to see how good they actually can be as a team the third reason I believe the Minnesota Timberwolves will surprise everyone next season is the fact that although when you think of this team, you wouldn't think of them as this crazy talented team, they're actually a pretty talented team and the talent on paper should be better than their record. Because if you look about it, they have a guy in Carl Anthony Towns who's a top 20 player in the league and the only reason he's not top 10, top 15 is because he doesn't win games. But nonetheless, he's one of the best scoring talents in the NBA and he's arguably the best and most skilled offensive center in the entire league. And he's probably the best shooting center in NBA history. He's probably also capable of leading a team to wins. He just hasn't had the team around him to do so. This season, Carl Anthony Towns is averaging 25 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, while shooting 49% from the field and 39% from 3. Those are elite numbers, and unlike most teams, they Wolves already have a great player who can lead them to wins. They don't have to look for that in the draft, so that's a huge bonus. The Wolves' second best player in D'Angelo Russell is a player who I think is a bit overrated, but he's still definitely an above average guard and he's a fringe NBA all-star who can go out and score 20 points the whole season and he's a really good floor spacer and he can really play make for his teammates at a really high level. The Timberwolves also have Malik Beasley who is one of the more underrated players in the whole NBA because he averages 20 points per game. He does it on great efficiency and he spaces the floor very well and he's not a ball dominant player because he likes to shoot a lot of catch and shoot threes but at the same time he he can still go out and get a bucket for you while handling the ball, which just makes this team have a lot of options of guys to go to to get buckets. Another great player they have is their rookie in Anthony Edwards, who although in his rookie season, he has been very inefficient, but he has shown in some spurts that he will and can be a great player in the league, as he's a good shot creator who can straight up get buckets, and I think next season, he will be much better than he is right now. Jaden McDaniels is one of the more underrated rookies since he looks like a perfect power forward to go alongside Carl Anthony Towns since he can space the floor as well well as he's a solid defender. Joshua Koji is a guy who can be really good on defense but he doesn't bring much on offense. Naz Reed will be a great backup center for them next year as he's a center who can give them 10 points and 5 rebounds off the bench while being an above average shooter at the center spot. He's kind of like a Dollarama version of Carl Anthony Towns which isn't bad for a backup center. Guys like Jalen Noel and J Jared Vanderbilt have looked like they can have a role on this team. I don't know much about those guys so I can't go into details about them from what I've seen which isn't much they look like solid players. So as I've described this is a team with a bunch of players who can score the ball at a good level and some guys who can play a role at a good level as well. I think they just need to put it together and I think the way they can do that is by getting a coach who is very good. Kind of how the Knicks got Tom Thibodeau this season and now they look way different. So I think this offseason they should look into getting a little bit more defended, defensive players and a new coach and I think if they could do that they honestly can surprise everyone. To conclude the video, I'm not saying the Timberwolves will definitely be a great team next season, but what I am saying is that there is a real chance that they can surprise everyone and do great. And I think if they're healthy, they could be in the play-in tournament and have a season similar to what the Knicks are having this year, which could maybe convince Carl Anthony Towns to stay a little bit longer. But if the Wolves suck again, as they usually do, I'm convinced that Town is gone either the franchise trades him or he's requesting the trade 
anyways guys that's it for the video let me know whether or not you think the timberwolves will make the playoffs next season drop a like on this video to help my channel grow subscribe to my channel if you want weekly nba content and to reach my goal of 1000 subscribers and comment on this video to start a conversation with me as i do respond to all of my comments and play that intro